At Hickory Canyon's natural area in southeastern Missouri, a set of sandstone box canyons features interesting rock formations and several unusual plant communities based on the sandstone bedrock and the cool, moist conditions within the canyons. Some species are quite rare in Missouri and may represent holdouts from glacial climates. This is a great place for a scenic hike, with its waterfalls, sandstone cliffs, diverse vegetation, and clear-flowing streams. Follow along as we explore the geology and nature of this special area in a bit more detail. The area straddles a ridgeline, with trails descending from a central parking area into steep valleys on either side. The eastern trail descends into a tight box canyon headed by a tall waterfall, while the western trail loops down through rock bluffs defining a fern-lined, clear-flowing stream. But what's so special about the rocks forming this landscape? A geologic map like this shows where different bedrock formations appear at the surface. There are three primary formations in this area. We're going to ignore the more complex stuff at upper right, because it's not directly relevant. Hickory Canyons occurs entirely within what's called the Lamont Sandstone. Looking closely at the rock, you can clearly see rounded quartz sand grains and pebbles, as well as angular features called cross-bedding, which we'll return to in a minute. This sandstone is over 500 million years old, but the rocks beneath that are over twice that age. Ancient erosion of these Precambrian igneous rocks provided the raw material for what became the Lamont sandstone, which was deposited over the old erosional surface. Although the older basement rock is exposed in a few places by modern erosion, this doesn't actually occur at Hickory Canyons, which is mapped as all sandstone. But it's worth recognizing where this sandstone comes from, and if you want to see the basement rock and delve deeper into this relationship, visit Han State Park just to the south and check out our video on the Pickle Creek Trail there. Although the bedrock here is essentially flat, along the cliff walls you'll see certain layers containing strongly angled planar features. This is cross-bedding, a common structure within the Lamont sandstone. This forms when flowing currents deposit sediments along the downstream side of ripples or dunes. These structures preserve evidence of the water-driven transport and deposition of material eroded from the old basement rocks, forming layer after layer of sand and pebbles that eventually became the Lamont sandstone. These sandstone outcrops are fun to explore, with their bluff shelters, cross-bedding, and other interesting geologic features but they also host a variety of interesting plant habitats. Shaded areas along rock ledges, fed by wet seeps, support various rare plants that prefer cooler climates than are normally found in Missouri. Let's focus on just one example. The hay-scented fern is extremely rare in Missouri. This species prefers cool conditions and is far more common further north and in the Appalachians. When we worked at Shenandoah National Park in Virginia almost 20 years ago, these ferns carpeted forest floors in the mountains, as in this more recent iNaturalist image from even further north in Massachusetts. But in Missouri, they're only found in a few special locations. One explanation for this is that such plants represent isolated remnants from a previous glacial period, when Missouri's climate more closely resembled that of a northern boreal forest. As temperatures warmed, cold-loving plants like the hay-scented fern may have retreated into isolated areas like Hickory Canyons with the right combination of bedrock, topography, and hydrology to provide cool, moist conditions. Just to be clear, don't assume every fern you see is the hay-scented fern. This habitat is great for a variety of interesting species. For a fun challenge, see how many different ferns you can distinguish. There are many other interesting and unusual plant communities here, but we can't delve into them all. You can read more about the biology of hickory canyons at the links below. So why are these sandstone canyon habitats so rare in Missouri? For one thing, sandstone simply isn't a very common bedrock here. Most of Missouri's terrain is formed by carbonate rocks like limestone and dolostone. The Lamont sandstone, which seems particularly good at forming these moist canyons, only appears at the surface in a small portion of southeastern Missouri where three different nearby natural areas host unusual sandstone-based plant communities. Exploring this area is a lot of fun, but please be aware of where you walk. There are a variety of well-worn, non-official trails, particularly in the eastern box canyon. These aren't signed as restricted or closed, and will give you access to a lot of neat features and views, but please still keep in mind that this is a designated natural area for a reason. Do your best not to trample or otherwise disturb the plant life, soil, or outcrops. The more respect is shown to this beautiful and unusual place, the more enjoyment we can all get from it. 